In this part of our photography review show, we're gonna be looking at pets, travel and portrait photographers. Hello everyone and welcome back to our photography review show. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm a professional photographer from the south of England. Now again, after two weeks, we are back with another set of shows reviewing your own photos. Once again, we got over 25 photographers and 150 photos to look at. And again, what we had to do is to pick two of the best photos from each of the photographers and we're going to be looking at them. And again, uh, to make it a little bit easier, we have actually divided the show between the three different aspects based on the style of the photography. In this part of the show, we're going to be looking at pet or pets, uh, portrait and travel photographers. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. And here we are starting straight with the pets photography uh, from Sabine. Uh, Sabine actually sent us picture over the last two weeks already. So we have even more pictures from her uh, this week. So we have uh, two photos from her um, uh, to look at and she's the only pets photographer this week. Uh, we have this uh, beautiful golden retriever in a river which is absolutely stunning and obviously we have this kind of panoramatic um, Christmas card with multiple different dogs. Both of them different styles. Um, I absolutely adore this one. I think it works super well. I think everything is there, everything from my favorite reflection, um, the dog, the creamy glowy look, the sun behind, uh, it works very well. Uh, the Christmas card is a different style in altogether, so I wouldn't be too judgmental. I don't think this is meant to be fine art photography, which you put on a cover of the books. This is something that goes inside of your calendar or cards or on top of your Facebook um, logo. So it's a different kind of styles. So let's look at it from the technical point of view. Let's see if we have any details. And unfortunately we don't, but at least the size is good. So starting from here, um, the dog is obviously well in focus. Uh, the background is nice and blurry. So nice use of depth of the field. What I like is that you kept enough details at the background so it's kind of recognizable so you can kind of see that is the forest and obviously the dog is nice and sharp and as always as i say especially with picture I like, like this i really appreciate the fact that the whole dog is in focus rather than just his head or the front part of the body so that works very well um, the light is stunning here obviously coming from the side natural light a uh, really really lovely photo and well done on a technical point of view Looking at it here, all the dogs, super well sharp, well positioned. I love that. I think that is really well done. Use of the background, it would be interesting if it was like a, a fabric or if they were standing in front of the green background and you basically just imported the background after that. I know that you were mentioning in, um, in your message that you're aware that maybe the background isn't that great. And uh, I think the one thing which isn't that great on this is the size of it. Um, obviously you have the dogs and you have kind of bigger and smaller dogs and it's a mixture, but uh, then the background is just huge, you know, have this huge uh, difference in the proportions and difference of the sizes. So that's maybe just one thing. They well sharp, they position, I think the picture from the technical point is well done. They well lit um, and it's really interesting. So from technically, it's well, well done, but we already know that because we talk about it over the past two weeks. Moving on. Uh, so artistically, uh, this is definitely my winner and probably one of my most favorite pictures I've seen from you so far, Sabine. Uh, it's stunning. I've seen some of more similar kind of style pictures on your Facebook page. And, and I think that is definitely your winner. I think that's something what you're really, really good look uh, good at. Um, so this is lovely. It's a lovely composition. It's a lovely crop. It has the kind of dream uh, pet effect. There is the sun glowing at the back. Uh, there is just enough details in the water with the reflection. I think everything works here. And I think this picture is really, really well done. Well done on that. Moving on the next one. Yeah, oh, it's just like I mentioned already, the background I think is unfortunate. Again, as you say, you try to desaturate it, which definitely helped. To be honest, uh, it would help if it would be almost kind of bright, bright white, but it works, it's there. I really appreciate the fact how the dogs are well sorted, organized, and it's well thought through. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm sure the picture did what it meant to do. But yeah, think about the background and uh, also think about the crop a little bit. I think there is 
a little bit of a shame that it's cropped so tight down here. I think uh, a little bit more space just like you done on the top would help, but then it depends on the situation, but maybe it's one point for the future. Moving on the post-processing, this is super well done again. It's almost on the verge of unnatural, but I think that's the kind of look you're going for anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. I think every pet owner would absolutely love this photo. So well done on that one. This again is a thing for a calendar. Uh, I think uh, it's really nicely done the way the dogs are sharp and there is texture on them and there is lots of nice contrast. So really well done there as well. Uh, we already talked about the background. We talked about a bit more space on the bottom. On this one, there is nothing more I could that I could do that. I mean, obviously, you could kind of uh, start to play around with a bit more vignetting also, but it just works really, really well done. I'm really impressed by this photo, and you done super well, Sabine. So thank you very much for sending us your photo. Moving on the next photographers, so we are moving in the area of portrait photographers. So first, uh, Andre Schnitker. Uh, let's have a look what he sent us. So this is. Uh, something between portrait photography and probably like a theater festival concert kind of photography. I think it's very well done. I think it's a lovely, lovely photo. We have no details on how you capture it, so that is a little bit of a shame. Uh, when it comes to the technical part, I think it's really well done. Obviously, there is a touch of noise there, which was either there or it was created by Facebook, so I'm not sure uh, about that. But there is a lovely light. It's a lovely... Uh, posture by the person it's a lovely capture uh, and I quite like it there is a little bit of uh, kind of mystical feel in it and it works very well when it comes to the artistic part again yeah it's a bit tighter than I usually like but it kind of worked for this bit um, obviously I really like how it goes almost in a monotone feel where there's lots of the kind of purple and then you get just a little bit over warmth in the face which creates a really nice contrast and very interesting composition so i think artistically you've done very well this with this photo post-processing again it's very well done you know um it's co looking quite natural for the type of the photography there's lots of details and i think in overall andre i think you've done uh really really well so thank you very much and if you have more pictures like this make sure you shoot them over so we can have a look at them and see more of your work so moving on the next photographer, we have a Linda Murphy. Linda sent us three pictures of the same person. And they are all in black and white photography, some uh, lovely postures. Um, so let's talk about them. Obviously, um, in um, technical part, let's see if we have any details. Shame we don't. But uh, they are very well done. There's a lovely light there. The person is well in focus, everything behind is blurred, so uh, obviously a heavy, heavy focus on the person itself and what they're doing, so that works very well. The light is fine, and I'm not sure if you use any kind of reflectors or maybe some kind of lights or flashes with you, but um, in general, I think technically you've done quite well. I don't think you need anything else to add it. When it comes to the artistic part and uh, post-processing, I tell you what, obviously that the person is almost like a, from a Rocky or Rambo movies or action heroes. And so that's the kind of feel you get when you look at him. And then there is this huge contrast of the kind of glowy model like post-processing and the whole idea so you have this person who looks like he's going to a war and next to it he has like this perfect glowy face and i think that's the one thing which doesn't completely work for me i think the person should get much more texture in his face and around him and much more contrast and clarity because it would just work together you know you want him almost to be a bit more rough but in a kind of good way i hope you know what i mean uh the postures are well i think the cropping is well so composition is very well done artistically well thought uh obviously if you would want to bring the shots a little bit further you would try to capture them when he actually does something with the tool so let's say shoot the arrow and you would see the arrow flying or shoot with the gun maybe with the smoke from the gun or whatever else so, you know something just a bit more dramatic to even bring it further because all of these uh pictures he's gonna carry them so if he would be actually using them and you would be able to capture it i think that would add even more um more kind of uh, things to the actual pictures but in overall well done post-processing i'm not sure why you went for black and white although it works maybe it's because of the light or maybe of the overall feel if you're going for the black and white i would be looking at maybe a bit more contrasting scene so either 
something brighter on the actual person or brighter background uh, because uh, quite often it just kind of blur away it kind of works here because there is a bit bright behind but like for instance here uh, the person kind of disappear in front of the black background um, other than that uh, yeah, it's a bit on brighter side but that's maybe how the light went uh, I think you have a great idea Linda I think it's just pushing it towards the right direction so again add a little bit more of the clarity and make it a little bit more realistic and rough and maybe looking for those shots where there is a bit more action in them but generally thank you very much Linda for sending your photos and we can't wait to see them again hopefully in the future moving on the next one part up um, let's see yeah this is one of those pictures where I'm not gonna really do the review I'm really sorry but this isn't really a photo it's a snapshot it's something you capture with your mobile phone camera when you go out with your friends and that's what it seems to be it seems to be with the phone the person isn't really doing anything other than kind of leaning over uh, it's nowhere near interested there is no post-processing there is not really any technical part to judge so i'm really sorry for that if you have any pictures you maybe captured with a camera or you went and done as a photography then make sure you send them over but um, there is not much i can do here if you're looking for some inspiration for portrait photography check out the px500 um, just type in portraits and portraits in the nature and look for them and see if you can get some inspiration there looking for Barry and moving towards the travel photography so we have two pictures here um, and two quite different pictures so um, Barry uh, just as a reminder for next time when you send your pictures for a reviews or critique uh, try to stay away from using um, watermarks and the frames it just takes away the attention from your own photo and i think it's a shame i think you would lose points there but moving on i think uh, technically this is super well done although you could try to get some long exposure and maybe less details in the water uh, i think uh, the time of the day uh, wasn't perfect i think if there would be some warmth either by the golden hour sunset or sunrise it would work a little bit better but uh, it's a lovely composition looking at this um, I can't really say much about this to be honest because the card is out of focus so uh, it's not sharp um, everything around this is not sharp it's really underexposed so it's really really dark you're almost losing the details here so to be honest Barry I will be just focusing on this picture because I'm really a bit confused by this maybe you can uh, shoot me an email or message and let me know what was the idea with this one moving on this one really nice landscape photo the artistic part uh, lovely lovely reading line I absolutely love this I think it's super well done um, I think the cropping is cool I would definitely leave it that way again we can talk about the time of the day when it was shot but still um, uh, yeah lovely idea because once you would choose different time of the day you would get different texture in the sky and maybe you could do a little bit more with it you could also turn it to black and white and see if it would do something what would maybe be interesting let's see if we just kind of jump it here yeah, and maybe pump the exposure and your uh, clarity and see if maybe it would start to kind of do something for us but um, this would be more interesting if we would have a raw file and see if we could do more there but something like this and this and adding some kind of glow towards the end to guide the eyes towards it so, yeah maybe just something like this would be just an alternative to what you already done with the photo at this time of the day but again i would definitely try to see if you can go back and see if you can do a bit more with different time of the day and different light but in overall thank you very much barry for sending your photos and if you have more make sure you send them over so we can check them out and a final photo for this part of the session we have a picture from bernhardt and so we have these kind of kangaroos on the beach and we have this lovely lovely shot of the kind of um, island again Bernard uh, just as a reminder try to stay away from using uh, watermarks when you're sending your photos for reviews it just takes away the attention and it's unnecessary looking at how you capture these pictures so this is uh, by Samsung and this I'm not sure um, so obviously I assume it's a phone but for phone photography it's absolutely stunning uh, I think the technique is very well I think you have a lovely details here uh it's well lit and um, uh, it just works i'm wondering if it's from a plane or helicopter or uh, how you capture this uh, this one yeah you have the kangaroos in the shots 
and this is the kind of shot where it's almost i'm sure when you were there when you were capturing it it was absolutely stunning and it's something you don't get to see but because of the lack of the details on them and uh, because it's kind of quite late it's starting to be a bit less interesting so for me this one is definitely a winner out of the two but two of of them are very very interesting so looking at this from the artistic point of view absolutely stunning leading line i love how you center the island and the land it really works i think the cropping with the land at the back well balanced and well in line just works really well i think the mixture of the blues together with the green works super well so this photo in overall i have nothing to add i think it's amazing moving on this photo artistically i again completely get what you're trying to do you have a lovely reflection but it's just it's just not doing near as much as it does this to me um, so in general yeah um, there may be the composition I wonder what else was there if you could do something a bit more or not um, if it could be shot earlier to get more details in the animals maybe it would be more interesting also you could get more color in the sky and so on but post-processing wise if you've done any it's still very well done I love to see your photos and if you have more make sure you send them us uh, uh, send them to us so we can have a look at them and um, see more of your work and get more uh, uh, get more inspired by them but in overall thank you very much for joining us uh, thank to all of you if you want to join us for our photography review show make sure you visit our website cleverphotographer.com scroll all the way down and there is a section where you can either send your photos and also there is a section where you can subscribe to our newsletter and we send the weekly reminders and more instruction on how to join us on our uh, photography review show. Thank you very much for this part of the show and I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye bye!